Welcome back to the contestant battle, rebooted. Last time, the contestants had to do a trivia quiz, with the team that loses faces a double elimination. The evil demons won the challenge, and Caillou and Rosie got eliminated the following evening. Right now we have 24 contestants still in, but after tonight, one more contestant will be gone. Speaking of the contestants, hey there guys, how are you doing? Oh hey, I'm actually doing pretty well. That's good to hear PC guy. Now, I have a question for you guys. Since we're now 8 episodes into the season, how are you liking your teams? I mean, it took a bit, but I actually like the team I have, mainly because after Evil Erica got eliminated, it made things a lot easier to handle without her being overly aggressive. I see. But anyways, the reason why I'm asking you this is because we are about to make some changes. Wait, what kind of changes? Here's the first, and the biggest, change. You guys are now in teams of five. Throughout this stage of the game, you will be competing in five teams of five. The teams that do well will be safe, and the team that does the worst in each challenge will be up for elimination. Hold up. You said that we're in five teams of five, but my team only has four members. Actually Brian, I was just about to get to that, which also leads to my next catch. In this episode, I have decided to bring a previously eliminated contestant back into the game. <laughs> yep, and that contestant will be joining your team as your fifth member. Oh cool, I wonder which eliminated contestant is gonna be our fifth team member. Hey there loser, did you miss me? You have got to be kidding me. Out of all the people you could have brought back, you decided to bring back Keith. Sorry Brian, but Keith was the only person that I thought would be acceptable enough to rejoin since he's the only person that hasn't been in the game for more than one episode. Anyway, for the last change. While we're still doing the contestant voting system, instead of the losing team voting someone off, all of the safe teams will vote someone from the losing team off the show. I mean, it's not the most ideal way to have us contestants vote, but it's whatever I guess. Now, with the new changes out of the way, we can start the next challenge. For this challenge, you will be doing a triathlon race. Three people on each team will be competing in this challenge. The first person on your team will be swimming, the second person on your team will be cycling, and the last person on your team will be running. Okay, but who is competing in this challenge? Those of you that disappeared will be competing in the challenge. Oh, and if you're curious on who's doing what in the challenge, here's the rundown. Now, I'm gonna go where the rest of the contestants are. You guys can hang out here until the challenge is over. Till then, I will see you guys later. Um, what do we do while we wait? I have a football. Who wants to play? I do. Alright, you five will swim from this pool area and into the grass lines over there. Then you can tag the next person on your team so they can start their part of the challenge. Don't worry, it's not too far from here. It should only take you a minute at the lowest. With that said, are you guys ready? Um, sure I guess. Alright then. Let's get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh no! Isaiah sank in the water. Don't worry Isaiah, I'll save you. Levi, you just saved me. Yeah, I noticed you sank in the water, and I didn't want you to drown so I came back to rescue you. I appreciate you saving me, but why did you save me in the first place? Aren't we on different teams? I mean, just because we're on different teams doesn't mean we can't help each other out when necessary. Plus, we're cousins. 
I'm sure that she would have done the same for me if our positions were reversed. Yeah, you have a point there. Anyway, let's continue swimming so we don't fall far behind and put our teams at risk of elimination. Alright, let's go. Alright, Aaron, start cycling. On it. You know, I can see PC guy and Amber swimming from a distance. But I don't see any sign of Isaiah and Levi's. Well, I'm not sure what happened, but I noticed that Levi suddenly stopped and started swimming back right as I passed her, so I assume something happened to Isaiah and Levi went back to save him. If that's the case, hopefully they can make it here alright. Okay Heather, now it's time for you to cycle. Okay. Alright Warren. You're up. Okay, Amber. What the? How did you two catch up so quickly? Well, we noticed how far ahead you were. So we just went as fast as we could to catch up to you. I see. But nonetheless, I am still gonna beat you and reach the end of this part first. Oh? We'll see about that. Too. What happened that caused you to take so long to get here? That doesn't matter, what's important is that you two need to start cycling right away. Yeah, we're already behind enough as it is, the last thing we want is for either of our teams to be put up for elimination. Okay, we'll be on our way then. Do you see any of the other teams, Julie? No, not really. I think the other teams are too far ahead of us. Wait a minute. I think I can see them just up ahead. Yeah, it looks like they're just about to reach the last part of the challenge. If we go as fast as we can, we can still have a chance of making our teams safe. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's put this thing into high gear. Hey! I can see the others just right in front of us. Hold up. You're right. Come on. Let's go. Hey guys, we made it. Great. Alright then. Let's go. Yes. We made it. We still have a chance. About time you arrived, Julie. Now I'm out of here. Hey, wait for me. Face it, David, you are going down. No, you are not gonna get past me no matter how hard you try it. Yes, I will. I will get past you and reach the finish line first. If you really think you can get past me, you're gonna have to do better than that. Oh no you don't. Get back here. Um, maybe we should run faster to keep on track with them. Yeah, good idea. Oh hey, I can see two people coming this way. David and Keith, two previously first eliminated contestants are on track of getting to the finish line first. Whoever gets here first will win the challenge for their team, while the other one will get their team in second place. Who will that winner be? We will see right about now. Yes, I did it. I won the challenge for my team. Good job David. For being the first person to finish, your team, the yellow team gets first place. Well done. Whatever, that stupid first place doesn't even matter to me anyways. Don't be so down Keith, your team gets second place since you were the second person to arrive. And now there are only three teams that haven't been declared safe yet. And from what I can see, it looks like it might be a close contest.
Yes. I'm so close to the end I can taste the victory. No. Uh oh, Kate, are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay, but I have no idea where the heck that rock came from. Oh well, at least I still have time to finish before Kimberly and Juan show up. Congrats Kimberly, for being the third person to finish, your team gets third place, and Juan, for being the fourth person to finish, your team gets fourth place and are safe from elimination. Sorry Kate, but since you did not get to the finish line in time, your team gets dead last and are up for elimination. Yeah, I probably should have seen that one coming. Alright, now let's head back to the main area. Yes. I just need to reach the touchdown and my team will win. Hey guys, we're back. Whoa. Didn't expect to see you back so soon. Yeah, well the challenge just finished. And I can say, your team lost the challenge and are facing elimination this time. Are you kidding me? I'm up for elimination for the third time in a row. Sorry Dev. But sometimes things like this happen. Now go tell your other teammates that I'll be seeing you guys at the elimination area tonight. Hello Team Red, welcome to the elimination area. Interestingly enough, three of the five of you were already here in the previous two eliminations. So how does it feel to be here three times in a row? Don't you ever ask such a stupid question like that again. Well I can definitely tell that one of you is not happy about that. So let's just move on. All of the safe teams have voted one of you guys to be eliminated. And the contestant that receives the most votes will leave the show. Now unlike last time, I actually managed to buy a cake. So if you get a slice, you get to stay for another day, but if you don't get one, you are eliminated. Now let's get started. Out of everyone here, Amber, you have received the fewest number of votes with only one vote. So you're safe. Oh wow, I did not expect that. Warren, you only got two votes. Which means you're safe. Huh, I didn't expect to only receive two votes this time. And finally, the last person safe from the bottom two is Erica, who only received three votes. Well, it's a relief that I didn't end up in the bottom two. Now there is only one slice of cake left. Davion and Kate. Whoever receives this slice will be safe, and the other one will be eliminated. And with five votes, the final person safe is... Davy on. I expected nothing less. Sorry Kate, but you have been eliminated with 9 votes. Honestly, I expected this to happen. After what happened in the challenge, I knew that my chances of staying in the game were gonna be very low. I see. Anyways Kate, now it's time for you to go. Goodbye. Remember viewers. If you ever fall down in the middle of a race, get back up so you don't end up like me. And with another contestant down, we're back to only having 24 contestants in the game. Can the red team improve themselves from today's performance? Stay tuned to episode 9 to find out. Till then, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.